How do you tell if someone is attracted to you or just being very friendly? This is actually how I came to be with my current girlfriend. Totally thought she was flirting when I first met her, so I invited her to hang out. I thought we were going on dates the first 4-5x, she just thought we were hanging out as friends. I found out later that she is that friendly to everyone she meets, and has a ton of friends so this wasn't unusual to her. I eventually picked up that things weren't romantic, told her about the whole thing and we laughed about it. Things stayed that way for a few months and we remained friends. Then one day we were watching a movie and she asked if I wanted to make out. Not sure what shifted the gears. Pretty rad though. Someone tells you years later. As my dear old dad used to say, women who work for tips are not flirting with you. We used to extend this to if she's being paid to talk to you, she's not interested. I was once called into HR for allegedly flirting with an employee, not part of my own team. Her proof, I was always friendly. Offered her milk to go with her coffee, and worst of all once at an after work, I bought a round of drinks for everyone her included. The head of HR was a bit puzzled about the whole situation, and asked her what would she then suggest we do to resolve the situation and she requested that I would stop being friendly to her, and just leave her be. This poor woman just could not accept that I was being friendly. Alright, can I get around for everyone? Everyone except Karen, huh? No, the stripper is not attracted to you. Pro tip, you'll never know if you don't ask. Really with some people you cannot tell. I knew a girl who was super friendly with me, I got interested, and then a few weeks around her I saw this was how she treated every guy. Smiles. Oh stop it you, flirting. I wasn't special here. I moved on. I knew a girl who friendly with everyone. We sat down at a birthday party and talked non-stop for 3 hours. She was friendly with people. But I hadn't seen her do this before. I got her number and called her. We talked until my phone died. Our 10th wedding anniversary was about 6 weeks ago. Our oldest kid turned 7 in a few months. There's no good answer to that question. A million different people may give a million different signals and signs that they are or are not interested in you romantically. What I found works for me and what I think is the kindest, least awkward way, both towards yourself and the other person is to have some sort of consistently positive relationship repeated interaction with them first, and then, in a light, hearted and friendly way and without implying any kind of emotional pressure, just ask if they'd like to go on a date with you. Use the word date. If they say yes, congrats, they're into you at least enough to give it a shot and see where it goes. If they say no, for the love of all that is holy, don't take it as a personal insult. It probably isn't. Keep it light hearted and take the refusal with grace. They aren't into you, and throwing a tantrum over it or trying to pressure them further isn't going to help them be into you whatsoever. It's not always easy. With my fiancé, when we started hanging out I would convince myself she liked me and then talk myself out of it. I would walk her home and she'd give me a really awkward friend hug then run inside, leaving me feeling like I'd misread the signals completely. This went on for about 3 weeks before we finally kissed at a party. I asked her about it afterwards and it turns out she was doing the same thing 7 years and a proposal later. I think she might have a crush on me, guys. The friendly, honest approach has worked for me. You seem really nice. Someone I'd like to go out with. If you'd like that too, if they're already spoken for or disinterested, they'll let you know. Either way, I've noticed that they seem to appreciate the attention, if they sense you're being sincere. 